Hey everyone, I hope everyone is having a wonderful summer. I am finally back making videos. I had a health scare in um, late May, early June. Well, I am a nurse, so sometimes we make the worst patients. And I was picking my kids up from school and I started having chest pain. I started having chest pain so severe that I was leaned over the steering wheel and I was trying to scare my kids. So I paced in the bathroom, not wanting to worry anybody. Then I called my mom because <laughs> she was like five minutes away. And I said, I think I'm gonna have to go to the hospital. Something's wrong. I started having pressure in my chest. It was radiating to my shoulder and those are like the first signs of a heart attack. So I went to the hospital and lo and behold, it was not my heart, it was my gallbladder. So I had to have emergency surgery to have my gallbladder removed. So that's where I have been. I've been recovering. I've been enjoying the rest of the summer with my children. But I do want to share with y'all some of my favorite all-time, tried and true, favorite, favorite products for summer. These are things that are, some of them are new to me and some of the things I have used and used and used over and over again. But I have to tell y'all, some of these things are so incredible, you are gonna have to run to your store and get immediately. I'll also list in the bottom bar where you'll be able to get those products. Some are very, very easy to find and some you may have to look for. So I'll let you know what those are. And anyway, let's get rolling. So first, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start out, I think, with skincare. We're gonna have some skincare, we're gonna have some makeup, we're gonna have some beverage holders. We're gonna have my sun bag or my summer bag that I take to the pool and to the beach. So anyway, these are my favorites. And I wanted to share them with you. First off, um, I am an oncology nurse and one of my really good friends that I work with, Amanda, she was telling me about this website that shows all different products that you're using on your face, your skin, sun, sun products. And I can't remember the name of the website. I'll find it and link it in the bottom bar. So anyway, it lists all the products on a scoring system as to which ones are hazardous to you and or can cause the chemicals that are in the products can cause cancer. So I wanted to get a really good sunscreen that for me and my children, both of all, all of us, we're all sensitive. All of us have sensitive skin. So I wanted to start with this first product. So this is the first product that I purchased online. I got it from Amazon, but I think you can get it at Babies R Us, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, I think carries this, but this is called Blue Lizard. And um, I found out that all the sunscreens that I was using, the spray ones especially, um, that are real easy for moms in a hurry, but you know, have a chemical called oxybenzone which is one of the highest um, chemicals that can actually potentially cause cancer. So this one has nat more natural ingredients. It's got titanium dioxide and zinc oxide as your sun protectant. It's really, really good for sensitive skin. Um, it's dermatologist recommended. I got the sensitive formula uh, because we all are sensitive. We all have eczema. This is SPF 30 and has really, really been great. It doesn't clog pores and it's been a staple at my house. Unfortunately, it is $26 for this bottle, which is eight ounces, I believe, 8.75 ounces. But again, in the end, it's worth it to me. All right, so secondly, I want to talk about what happens when you do get burnt and you do get more sun than you should. Um, this is a product called Solar Recover, and I've been using this for about three years now. And I used to use just aloe vera when I would get too much sun and or my children would get too much sun. But as you all know, it's really sticky on your skin. And, you know, we just, we don't need that. This is um, a spray. It's called Save Your Skin. It's an everyday moisturizer. I know friends of mine who just use it and just, I mean, just, just spray it on their face because it just, oh, God, it smells so good. This was actually made by a couple. I think he was a tennis pro. And his wife was an esthetician. Her name's Charlene. And she, they both just created this product. It's all natural. It's got filtered water, natural vitamin E, calendula, which is very calming to the skin, lavender, which is, I think, what you smell when you spray, sesame, geranium, Roman chamomile, sandalwood, and French seaweed extract. I am going to tell you, and my husband can speak true to this too. 
you spray this on your skin when you have had too much sun and by the next morning it is completely sunken in you will not peel well you may if it depends on how severe the sun is <laughs> but i'm telling you when it says save your skin it will save your skin it's good for your hair too and it smells y'all i'm telling y'all just so it smells smell it it just smells heavenly um, I wanted to tell, this was so funny, I was reading this, and it says, shake well before using all natural ingredients. It says, the only animals we test on our, it says, the only animals we test on is ourselves. So, no animal products were hurt in the testing of this product, or no animals were hurt in the testing of this product. Okay, so, I just want to also add that I know it's been a while since I've been on here, and normally I have my hair fixed, but it has been raining, cats and dogs for the past week. So, I did not fix my hair for y'all, but, and I just did very minimal makeup, but I'm here, and I'm with y'all, and I've missed y'all, so I just wanted to just say that. Um, I'll get my, I'll get my hair done here before long, but this is a hair, I've got two hair products. Before I start talking about hair products, let's talk about this. This, my husband got for me at the beach when we were just there, and I don't know if you, I know everybody's familiar probably with the Yeti products. I was not a believer in Yeti products until I actually tried them, and it is hot here in the summer in the south. So, we go to the beach, we go to North Carolina beaches, we go to Carolina Beach, and when you're on the beach and you're drinking products, I know when I, for us, you drink one product, like hand, Coke, drink, beer, whatever, it's hot within five minutes. That's how hot it is here. This Yeti, this is the Colster, and this is the dipped one. Um, they have all different colors, which is super cute. This will keep your beverage cold, I mean ice, ice cold, in the hot, hot sun for hours. Hours and hours and hours. So, I am a firm believer these Yetis are bomb. So, I have a cold beverage right here while we're talking. Um, okay, so now we're going to talk about hair products. Okay, so, obviously, I color my hair. So, I, I'm a natural blonde, but I'm more of an ash blonde, and when I had my children, my hair got darker, I guess from the hormones, and as I've gotten older, I have like tricolored hair. So like when this starts growing out, it gets like brown, and it gets ash, and then it gets blonde up here at the top, then it gets faded, and then I got gray streaks coming out through here, so <laughs> it's real sexy. It's dead sexy. <laughs> So this is a new product that I use, and this, I know y'all heard of this, but I just wanted to share with it, because this, I think, is the newer one. It's a 10. Normally, this is in a blue bottle, um, but this is specifically for blonde hair. Um, it's got 10 benefits to it. It says, it tones hair color, enhances brilliance, reduces fading, extends vibrancy, adds shine, Restores elasticity and strength, detangles, defrizzes, seals the cuticle, thermal protector, UV protector, and designed for all blondes. And it smells like, I don't say sunflowers or like chamomile, but it's like, it's awesome. And I put this in my hair when I'm outside, it's, it's in my bag. But also, when you get out of the shower, it wants you to put it in when your hair is wet and comb it through your hair and then just go on with the regular your regular styling but it's awesome it really really helps with the cuticles it helps with breakage and i love this stuff if you get the other one try if you don't if you're not blonde get the blue one it says it's a 10 but get the keratin formula ulta sells this and sometimes i got this on a buy one get one half off so i got two products i got the blue one and the the blonde one so, it's good to have in your pool bag. It's good to have in your bathroom. So, that's another product that's really, really good. Tried and true. Best stuff ever. This is the Batiste um, dry shampoo. And when you need to go maybe a couple of days without washing your hair, um, and it starts getting kind of oily or shiny up here at the top, this stuff works so well and you can go another day another two days even before washing your hair um this is the coconut and exotic fragrance coconut and exotic tropical fragrance and what you do is just an aerosol and i'm gonna show y'all can you see this babe if 
So I'm just gonna spray, see up here, it's kinda, kinda, you know, just spray it up at the top. And see how it turned white? That's okay now, it's okay. Now I don't have a brush with me. But you take this, kinda rub it in, and see instantly, it took every bit of that oil out. Again, combing through it is gonna be the best thing for it. But, um, oh, my hair's a mess. But that really does. That, that'll take you like two, two or three more days. So it's awesome. And let's see. So this is my pool bag. Here I see this. And it is a scout bag. It has a reinforced bottom. So literally you can get sand, dirt, grime, anything on here, spray this off and it's brand new. It is lightweight, it's ergonomically fabulous. And it ha this is the BJ bag, by the way. And it's got pocket, pocket, and two other pockets on this back side. It's got tons of snacks and stuff in here from the pool. And I can put four or five beach towels in here and it's ready. And it's fabulous. And oh my gosh, it's the best bag ever. And lastly, for my pool bag, these glasses, y'all. These are, this was a special purchase. Let me just put it that way. Um, Michael Kors, everybody knows Michael Kors. I bought these sunglasses last year, I think. And I keep these in my purse because I don't want them to get scratched up. I don't want to take them out on the beach. But this is the case it comes in. And these are my glasses. They're the, I'm probably saying this wrong, Gestad. And then they're, I don't know, you probably can't see this, but the frames are tortoise shell, but they've got sparkles like all in the frames. And I just put these on. I just feel real fancy. I feel real fancy. Oh my gosh, can I do the rest of the video with this on? Because that really helps with the glare. <laughs> my husband said I can't because he can see the rings and stuff in it, but. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna get a sip. Hang on. Okay, all right, now we're moving on to makeup. Okay, so we're gonna start with face makeup first. Um, this is the, I'm telling you, I've tried these, these are things that I use all the time because they're so good. But this is my, my bare minerals. Um, I use the face makeup in matte, and since I've got a little bit of sun, I do the matte, I see, the medium tan, um, and then this is the mineral veil that goes on top. This is mineral makeup, so you buff it into your skin. You need a very, very little, but this, you take and you sprinkle into the cap, probably about that much, swirl and tap, and buff this with like a flat kabuki brush, into your skin. This is the tinted formula, so it limits the amount, well, it reduces the amount of bronzer that you have to use. Cause I'm still pretty fair, I have Irish skin. And when I use bronzer, and I'm sure it looks fabulous on so many people, but for me, when I use a lot of bronzer, I look muddy. My face looks really, really muddy and dirty. It's probably cause I haven't found the right one. So if you guys have a good one that you think I should try with my fair skin, please tell me. But this right now is one of my favorites. I've used it forever, probably 10 years. But I know it probably hasn't been that long because they haven't come out with it this long. But it's the Tinted Mineral Veil by Fair Minerals. And then this was a purchase that I got today. So I have not tried this yet, but I wanted to swatch it on camera because this just came out and I think I'm gonna absolutely love it. I watched a couple reviews. Nicole Guerrero did this review on this and this is one of her new favorite foundations. And I love her, so I really trust what she's saying. And she lives in Florida, which is the climate that's very similar to here in North Carolina. So, it's hot. And makeup, that's why I use Bare Minerals. Makeup will melt off your face. Like, literally melt off your face if you don't use something that's going to stay and has some staying power. But this is the new Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. It is full coverage, long wear, matte finish, waterproof, waterproof, and oil-free. <laughs> So this sounds like it's the Holy Grail. 
I do not know if it is, but I'm going to try it. I hope this is the right color because this is the darkest shade that they had as of right now. This is a shade 4.0, but I'm going to swatch it on camera real quick. That way you can see it. Package is really cool. It's a one ounce of product. $40 though, y'all. It's $40. My husband cringes every time he sees that I've been to Ulta or Sephora. <laughs> And then it's just, it's awesome packaging. It's mirrored, it's really cool. Um, and then it's a pump, which is gonna come out in just a minute. There it goes, here we go. We're, oh, oh, okay, I'm just gonna do one little drop because I don't wanna waste it because it's $4. <laughs> All right, so, um, this is the swatch. So can you see that, babe? I'm gonna swatch it on my hand. All right, that's one tiny, tiny little drop. And it looks like it's going to be the right color. And it also looks like it's going to stay. It completely covered up the molds on my hand. So anyway, all right, so I'm looking forward to trying that. Oh, my hands are dirty now. All right, and then, I'll do lip products in just a minute because that's my favorite thing. Um, I got this Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is the Sun Dipped. And it's beautiful. Um, I was going to get, shout out to Jaclyn Hill. She did the, um, she's still got the Prosecco Pop and the Champagne Pop, and which looks amazing. But it's $36 for one. So, the Sephora girl taught me into getting this because it comes with four huge pan highlighters and bronzers all in one. So, this is the, so it goes Summer Bronze Tourmaline and Moonstone. And... For the darker versions, of course, I'm gonna do these as my bronzers. And for these two, I mix these two together and just kinda of put them right here on the tops of my cheeks. And it looks like, see, I kinda, of, I don't know. I'm still getting used to this. And plus I've been going all day, so I know I'm kinda of sweaty right now, but that's what I do for that. And it's really, really pretty. It gives a really pretty glow. Next on my list is the Morphe N, I'm sorry, 12 NB palette. This is the much smaller version. This is the much uh, the more compact version of the Morphe palettes. And let me tell you something about Morphe. You can go on Morphe.com and you can get these palettes and they are only going to run you about $19, $15, $19, something like that. And you get, 30, I think, 32 to, or 36 colors. This has 12 colors, but these are the more neutral. This is the neutral palette and this is the matte. The matte version so you get 12 colors I literally have two colors on my eyes right now I have this pale yellow here right here in the corner and I did this more the thing with Morphe they don't really have colors so I just have to show you I'm sorry but it's this one where right above my nail which is the orange color like orange burnt orange color right here in the crease and I did that long time ago and they have stayed all day in the wet in the rain in the sun in the humidity amazing these are very very wearable colors and they are so pigmented so just just to give you guys an example this is the color that I use today that's one swipe that's one swipe of that color I mean that is awesome that is such an awesome color. And like I said, very, very wearable. As long as you're blending them out. Okay, so one more eye product. I talked about this when I did my Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. Um, this was new when I got it, and so I've been wearing it for a couple months now. Um, it's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Great packaging, great product, um, and it's waterproof. And it really, really is waterproof. Um, it won't last through like a full day of sun and fun, but it will last. Um, great brush, holds a lot of product. 
I put it on my eyes. My only concern, and tell me in the, in the comments below if you guys are having the same issues with this. When I put it on, it stays wet for a long time um, to the point where I, like, I'm getting stuff like up here that I'm having to clean up and down here. So I have to be really, really careful because like I said, it stays wet for a long time before it actually gets waterproof. And once it does dry, it stays on until <laughs> like you have to use the product to break it down, like an oil or a really, really, really good remover because it's not going to come off very, very easily. So let me know what you guys think about this because I do love it. This is one coat on my eyelashes. I have no falsies or anything on this, and these are mine. And this is one coat of mascara, so I think that's a, that's a good product. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch my three favorite lip colors. Um, I'm gonna start with the least expensive. This is called Istanbul. It's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. A um, little tube right here, I think it was $5, I think it, Ulta. It's a great um, pink, real light pink, and it dries matte. I have it on, but I have a little lip gloss over the top. So, this is the Istanbul color. And I love it. It is a great summer color. It will dry matte and it will not move. Um, my other favorite color is a matte color. It's a matte. I think it's matte. Yeah, matte. And it's the A55 Kind of Sexy. And it's a little bit different than this pink, but it's a great, great, great summer nude. And that's that color. Kind of sexy. Again, it will stay on. In the summer, y'all just have to have stuff that stays on because if it doesn't, it's just not even worth wearing. And then lastly, um, the Sangria, which is by Bite Beauty. I did a huge, I did a other tutorial on my Bite Beauty products, and I have, I told you I was going to go back and get some more, and I did. <laughs> I went back and got more. These are the Amu Amuse Bouche um, lipsticks. They are the ones that are edible. They are triple milled, and they will stay on. The great thing about these is these smell so good, and they're very, very, very creamy. This right here is called Sangria. This is one, one swatch of the Sangria. And it is bright, but it is awesome. It is so awesome. But it really, really adds a pop of color. I wish I didn't have this already on. I would put it on for you. Um, it's just a beautiful pink. It is really, really bright. It is very beautiful. And I think it is a universal color. My friend TJ put this on <laughs> when I first got it. And she goes, here, let me try that. She put it on and she was like, whoa. Because it is bright. It's really, 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 it's bright. But it really does, I mean, it kind of, even her daughter said, mom, I really like that color on you. And she has totally different coloring than me. She's much, much darker. And she's got kind of brownish red hair. But it looked really good on her too. And last but not least, this is my MAC lip glass. Because I'm a gloss girl. And the color is called Nymphette. Let's see, A15. And this is a universal gloss. Um, some people don't like lip glasses because it's a little bit tacky. I like them because it stays on. Doesn't feather or anything. I put this on top of the um, the NYX Istanbul. But it just, ooh, I love it. Love it. It's kind of an iridescent color. I know you can't see it on camera. But it's just so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's got the light reflecting properties too to make your lips look a little bit fuller. So. Anyway, those are my summer, just some of my summer favorites. But these are my favorite, favorite things. But if I told you to go get one thing, one thing alone, it would be this Solar Recover. And I'm going to tell you, the best place to get it is when you're at the beach. And most beach shops have it, like Burt's Surf Shop or any of the local like surf run-ins usually have this at the beach. Um, you can also order this on Amazon. And I think it runs anywhere from between $12 and $16. If you're paying more than that, then you're paying too much. But this is 12 fluid ounces. This will last you more than the whole summer. I use it for all four members of my family. So amazing, amazing, amazing product. 
I'm gonna them all off. Because they're... <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is having a safe and wonderful summer. Uh, try to keep your sunscreen on. Please, please, please just protect your skin. You only get one set of your skin. So take care of it. Stay cool. Stay hydrated. And most of all, enjoy, enjoy your life. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.